Hi guys. Pardon my self still in my pajamas. I'm downstairs in my craft room hoping to not wake anybody up because it's still early in the morning. But I had an idea. With everybody buying all the um, stockpile food things like stuff that lasts a long time like beans and rice and what have you. Um, I thought like what if we did a post like an interactive video with um, taking one of those items and just compiling all the ideas we can with those items. Um, so like for example I was thinking of beans because another channel might have been Little Mountain Ranch the other day I posted a couple of ideas like how are you going to use all those beans? You went and bought them all. How are you going to use them? Um, and my mind just kind of went in that direction. So I thought this could be like a little mini series with um, us kind of collaborating and um, listing um, ideas. And so I started with beans in my head. Partly that's where she started and that's where also my mind went first, like the easiest thing. And I came up with 15 ideas. Um, If you want recipes for any of these, I can probably make them, um, but most of them I don't think really require it. Um, and this is any kind of bean, like you can cook dry beans and use those, you can use canned beans, what have you. Um, so my first idea is hummus. And before you discount that one, because some people don't like hummus, um, remember that hummus you can do with any bean. It's typically garbanzo beans. Um, it's got olive oil, which makes it both fibrous and healthy fat, so it's filling. Um, I like to do white beans and pesto. Um, also, I'm looking at a list here, by the way, because I won't remember 15 things. Um, you can make, I've seen black bean ones done. Um, pretty much you can make them with any beans. And the thing is, you don't just have to use it as a dip. You can use it as like a sandwich condiment instead of mayo. You can use it um, in a wrap type thing. Um, I also like to Yes, use it as a dip, but with vegetables instead of tortilla chips or pita chips. Um, I like to use, you know, any hard vegetable as a dipper. I had, thought I had a kid up and didn't want to, didn't want them freaking out not knowing where I was. Uh, okay, so hummus. Number two, to add bulk to a soup. And this is, some, some soups already have beans in them. Um, but think about, like, even if you just have a vegetable soup, because that's all you have is vegetables, if you add beans to it, you don't have any meat then that makes it a lot more filling for the long term but you can add them to any soup um, I make a carrot soup that is a little it's like half blended to make it thicker and I thought white beans with that would make it even like more hearty uh, number three chili um, kidney beans are traditional in chili but you can use black beans white beans and white bean chili um, chili you can also easily make vegetarian I've been having problems finding meat that I like in my grocery store so I'm trying to think of ways to not use meat or to stretch it. So chili is another one. Number four, beans and cornbread. Um, traditional southern dish. There's recipes for it online. I believe the Pioneer Woman has one. I have not tried it. Um, but it, it's pretty basic beans. You cook with um, bacon and salt and pepper, I think, and just cornbread. And I was also thinking, because I'm having problems finding um, organic cornmeal. I don't want GMO cornmeal. Um, but that would probably also be good with biscuits as well. Number five, how about just the beans? Like make that the main dish. Um, think about different profiles of seasoning with this. So like um, you could do a Mexican flavored beans, you know, with cumin and chili powder and cilantro and maybe red onion or lime juice or something like that. And that could be your main thing. You could make a curry powder, um, curry sauce with white beans. I know I like cauliflower with curry. So I was thinking white beans with curry would also probably be good. Think about and just a pr flavor profile you like with something, especially if you like it with meat, and just make it with beans instead. Um, whichever type of bean you think would go best with that. Uh, number six, that's what I call beans, greens, and bacon. I've been eating um, either kale or collard greens for breakfast that I saute in bacon grease and sprinkle with salt. And I usually have that with either sausage or eggs. And I was just thinking the other day, um, because there haven't been eggs or sausage at my grocery store, that if I just chopped up a little bit of bacon in it and added some beans to it, um, that it would make a full meal on its own. Uh, so beans, greens, and bacon, that's another idea I had. Uh, number seven, salads. Okay, Greek salads typically have beans in them, so that's nothing new. Um, they have garbanzo beans a lot or 
other types, there'll be like with cucumber and um, feta cheese, stuff like that. Um, so that's what made me think about the salads. Think about old fashioned, like um, vinegar based, like, like three bean salad type things. You could put that in a green salad and it would bulk it up a lot. And because it has that dressing on it, I think it would go just fine. And also I was thinking in my head of an Asian bean salad. It popped into me like, take that three bean salad idea and swap out the oil, some of the oil at least for sesame oil, maybe soy sauce, um, you know, rice vinegar instead of your regular vinegar to just give it an Asian flair and that would be something different. Uh, idea number eight, a tuna salad. Um, this is that kind of, you know how some tuna salads are mayo based and some are vinegar based. This is like the vinegar one I was thinking with white beans, capers, and red onion with tuna. And that would be great on its own, but it would also be well, it would like really bulk up, turn a green salad into a main dish salad. Um, idea number nine, black bean salsa. I have this in my cookbook. So if you have my cookbook, it's on page 166. Um, but I think I will also make a coordinating blog post, so I will link that below, and that can I can put a printable recipe for just that one in there. That's my dog. <laughs> um, so black bean salsa, which you could also eat with um, chips or pita, but I also, again, like veggie di dippers with that. It's really filling. I used to make it when I was a teacher, and I took it to work because it would last me three days. And um, you can eat a lot of veggies with that, and it turns veggies into a filling, like, full dish. Uh, number 10, my idea was vegetarian tacos. There are a lot of recipes online that are like black bean tacos, black bean and sweet potato tacos. Um, I've tried some of them. They're good. I've liked them. We're not vegetarian, but I still like them. Um, idea number 11 is a falafel. A falafel is a Middle Eastern um, pita sandwich. The falafel part is the, like a little, I call them like bean balls, but they're like the size and shape of a meatball, but they're mashed bean with spices and fried, and they're pretty good. Pretty darn good. You put them in a pita with like some cucumber and lettuce and tzatziki sauce. Delish. Okay, idea number 12, loaded nachos. Um, I've noticed the chip aisle is full. Tortilla chips, um, cheese, some sort of bean, seasoned or not, whichever you like. You can add meat or not if you have it or don't or whatever. Um, when you pull it out, you can top it with whatever you like that you can still get your hands on, like sour cream or lettuce or pico de gallo, um, cilantro, stuff like that. But beans on nachos really beefs them up. Um, idea number 13, black bean brownies. Not brownies, burgers. Brownies is the next one. Burgers. Um, again, we're not vegetarian. We like burgers. And I will say this up front. Black bean burgers cannot replace a hamburger. They don't taste the same, kind of like um, cauliflower rice. While it may be good in some ways, it doesn't taste like rice. It tastes a little different. Okay, bean burgers are delicious and our family loves them. We don't eat them in place of regular hamburgers, but when we want them, it's a different craving, you know? So um, it has its own flavor profile. Think of it as a completely different thing than a hamburger, just shaped the same. But they're really good and our family, the whole family likes them. Okay, number 14, black bean brownies. I just mentioned that. Um, again, different texture than a regular brownie, but they're they're pretty good. Um, if I'm having a chocolate craving, I might be making these. But they do taste slightly beany, but weirdly enough, it's not bad. Like, you would think, oh, well, that's gross. Don't mix beans and brownies. There are all kinds of recipes online. I've tried one or two, and they were surprisingly good. Okay, idea number 15 would just be your old your um, bean salad. Um, the Domestic Geek recently posted a video with this with three bean salads. One was like regular, one was Asian, and one was a cowboy salad. So they aren't your traditional, but they both, they all looked good. So just making a bean salad, you can make that as your um, side dish or, or your main dish. Um, so that's my, that's, that's my list of 15 things. Um, Actually, I just thought of this. My daughter makes dinner sometimes, my 11-year-old, and she makes a black bean and rice and corns. Um, it's a bowl, one of those bowl meals, like you would get a Chipotle or something. But she makes it with black beans, rice, and corn is the main thing, and it's got like Mexican spices and stuff in it, and then she makes an avocado, cilantro, and crema that drizzles on top. Really good. So there's a bonus idea for you. So here's my question. What are your ideas? with beans. What have I not mentioned? I'm probably going to be like, duh, when somebody says something that I couldn't think of. 
Um, but I had these going through my mind this morning and I couldn't get them out. So I was like, I'm going to make a video of this and find out. And in addition to what is your idea, the other thing I want to know is what other things do you think we should make like a communal video like this for? Like I'm thinking rice probably next, but what else did people stock up on that we need to compile a bunch of ideas for? Okay. You let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.